What's up, Juicy Squad? We are back in more. Oh, and all of our videos are finally caught up. Yes. Okay, that means that I gotta start actually working again. Which may end up being a little bit difficult because I've been kind of under the weather and stuff. Um, I'm feeling pretty good right now, though, thankfully. Anyways, I'll ramble about that later on in the video because first and foremost, you guys want to see Luxian and what's going on with this idiot. Well, let's take a peek. <sighs> Honestly, not a very good inventory for this guy. This kind of sucks. A lot of these are just old event items, so you'll want them for the mastery, but generally speaking, these are just kind of... <clears throat> you don't want them. I'm actually a little bit surprised that you know, we haven't had like a new event show up or anything for Shadow's Eve, which maybe that'll end up being next week or something. I don't know. Um, I guess it's cool that it didn't show up because I was busy pretty much this whole time up until this specific date. But uh, like I said, I'll ramble about that at the end of the video. First and foremost, let's get through all of this stuff. So we got St. Cube's Lick, uh, which is uh, a hero always rises to face the encroaching shadows. One superstition, which is a go joke stat that doesn't do anything at 50 magic find. Okay, cool. Uh, this is just going to end up being an event ally, which I mean, I like him just because I like the cubes least just in general, because if we do slash dance, I mean, he just does a run. Well, this guy's actually got a sword, so he's stabbing down, which is hilarious. Uh, and then we've got another old event item, the shimmying shamrock, uh, which does 7% attack speed, 1.5% crit hit. Sometimes when no one is looking, it does a little dance of joy. Is that a reference to Groot? I feel like it's a reference to Groot. I could be wrong about that. Just because, you know, the little baby Groot and Guardians 1. Anyways, that's it. It's just going to end up being this ally. Why is this free flux? Nine. Oh my God, dude. Wow. Let me just put that guy on ignore, stupid bot. Uh, and then we got Mag Rider, which is the cardboard coaster. Quite literally, it's just a cardboard box that doesn't even look like a cardboard box. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the colors or just the design of it or something. It's just, I don't know. Like, I like that it's crappy, but at the same time, it just doesn't even look like a cardboard box to me. So it's just kind of like, eh, I don't know. You're getting it because of mastery, basically. Maybe, maybe people are freaks and actually selling it for a decent amount of flex. Yes, they are actually. Considering that that's 45 uh, dragon coins selling for like 400K and up, that's not a bad flux price. However, with how little of them we saw on the market, I don't think many people are actually buying them is the thing. Let's take a quick peek at the uh, Orb Weaver here. So this, this you can see there's quite a few pages, so more people are actually buying them, I would say. Um, which makes sense, because this one's actually a mount, and it's actually kind of cool. I don't know, I kind of like the spider mounts. I'm not the biggest fan, but they do kind of look cool. I think anyways, uh, and then there's going to end up being the musical mat. Now, this is probably going to be worth quite a bit of flux, not only because it's 120 dragon coins each. Wow, really? I thought it surely would be more expensive than that because that is, you got to consider 70 dragon coins for the bone weaver, which sold for about the same price as the musical mat, which is a lot more dragon coins. Uh, a lot more mastery, however, and also is going to end up being a mount that has quite a bit of nice video effects, but is also going to end up being a gliding mount, as you can see. So, as far as mastery is concerned, this is probably the cheaper option because you end up getting double the amount of mastery for not double the amount of dragon coins, right? Unless my math is wrong. But anyways, then there's the Luxian style stash. So when you go to the style section, the hats, weapons, so on and so forth, there's all these different categories, right? So the Luxian style stash will unlock a random seasonal event pinata or Luxian equipment style that you don't already own, which is just going to end up being like one mastery. It's not a big deal to get any of those. Uh, and then there is 10 binding darkness that you can buy individually for 25 dragon coins each, which is not worth it. It's a beginner's trap. I don't know. Devs just put way too much price on these things. 25 dragon coins for 10 of them. Maybe then I would consider it, but until then, no. Uh, and then there's going to end up being the Golden Horde Dragon Soul, which if we go to the dragon badges, you can see there is quite a bit of mastery to be had here with the full dragon. Uh, and you end up getting quite a bit of items, including the Golden Horde Dragon Ling, which is a very, very good physical damage 
starting ally in the game and generally speaking is just a good ally overall but slowly as you end up consuming more of these dragon souls you'll end up getting the different forms of the dragon uh, as well as eventually the stats which are going to end up being these right here uh, you have to consume a total of 100 of these dragon souls which is going to cost you 400 dragon coins in total and it's going to end up taking a couple months because Luxian will visit on a bi-weekly schedule. So he's going to be here this week. Next weekend is going to be Corexian. And the weekend after that is going to be Luxian once again. Now, while there is multiple forms of this dragon, I only ever really want to show you guys the maxed out one just because the other ones don't really matter too, too much. The other forms basically just don't have wings or has wings but doesn't shoot fireballs. And then finally, the last one is going to be this one right here, which just has the wingspan, has the fireballs, so on and so forth. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to end up doing it for Luxian's inventory. Now, I, I did want to end up touching base with you guys just because it's been a while since we ended up having a, a video that was more recent. So I wanted to let you guys know that now we are officially all caught up, which means that any videos from this point on is going to be fresh ones that I just recorded. Um, I might slow down on the troll videos for a little bit just because I did kind of burn myself out a little bit by recording so many tutorials for the classes. Uh, and even though I say it might take a bit, a bit of a break from Trove, I more so mean those types of videos. So we'll probably end up doing let's play videos, live streams, and you know, just the usual more casual let's hang out kind of stuff. Um, there is also that new game scorn that i've been waiting on which the live stream is probably already up today which apparently that game's super short and i'm going to be able to beat it in my next live stream guaranteed um but on top of all of that the funner projects that i've been working on is i have finished um the video of mariko and mai's uh wedding so that one's going to end up being kind of a much more shorter much more focused just kind of including you guys in our life journey of you know getting together and so on and so forth. And, uh, you know, I'm really proud with that video. I think that it turned out really, really good. So I'll probably have that video go up tomorrow. Possibly. Uh, I'm going to try my best to have it go up by tomorrow. If not, then, then the next day. But generally speaking, it should go up tomorrow. Uh, and then the other one that is probably going to take a little bit of time uh, is the vlog video. So I, I ended up recording a lot of clips during the wedding and then also just afterwards with family and friends visiting and stuff like that uh, but that is literally like a week's worth of footage that i gotta somehow siphon through and cut down to something that's more reasonable for you guys or at the very least take all of the highlight moments from it you know so that video is going to take me a little bit longer uh to end up finishing uh, and then otherwise for other games that are planned on the channel grounded ended up having its full release so my buddies and me have been uh you know playing that uh, on my off time and i've been recording it and i'm going to end up probably finishing the game and then cutting it down into one coherent episode just because there's not really much reason to have more than one episode to f be the finale of that let's play series uh, and then later this month we've got uh, the resident evil village dlc so i'm definitely excited for that and then already in like less than half a month we've got the new god of war ragnarok coming out uh, in november and then on top of everything else in terms of life stuff going on for me uh things are still very very busy for me and mariko right now because our condo which we were supposed to be moving into in october ended up getting delayed again and now is scheduled to be completed in december which means that we've got to kind of get all of our paperwork and everything ready for that so uh, not to run you guys through the entire setup with all of this, but the condo that we're getting is brand spanking new. The building is still being built right now. And so that's why it keeps getting delayed, 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 which kind of sucks because it means that all of our paperwork that we have set up basically becomes irrelevant and we have to resend in all of our paperwork again. And so because of that, we've kind of just been more reserved and just kind of waiting until we had a more solid completion date, which is supposed to be at the end of December. So, I mean, honestly, I'm perfectly fine with it because it's just more time to save more money. And, you know, it's still a very, very expensive 
expense uh, to end up getting that condo. But then on top of it, our wedding was very, very expensive as well. But I'm very happy that everything ended up turning out with it. Uh, I'll end up talking about that, I'm sure, in more detail during like live streams and so on and so forth, where I'm just more chill and just hanging out with you guys. Uh, because I know that even though I've got that wedding video coming, that's more like it's more like artsy and just kind of sharing the moment with you guys rather than going into details about like, oh, here's what ended up happening and so on and so forth. So that's that's probably going to be more reserved for the vlog and then just chilling with you guys and talking during live streams. Anyways, I don't mean to ramble more than I need to. It's just most of all, I wanted to have this as a quick little update video for you guys on top of Luxian just because I thought, why not take the opportunity? Because there will probably be bleh, probably not be a trove video tomorrow just to kind of relax and give myself a chance to slowly ease into doing this whole YouTube thing again. You know, especially with the whole house still going through the process of having COVID and stuff. So uh, I'm trying to take it really easy on my uh, on my voice because even right now I can kind of feel that I'm getting to my limit um, because I ended up streaming Scorn earlier for like a couple hours. But anyways, I appreciate you guys coming out and watching this video and I appreciate your comments and support. Uh, I have been reading a lot of the comments just on my phone, you know, on my off time. Uh, and I just really want to share my appreciation for you guys because it really does mean a lot to see that you guys are still there and still supporting me despite the fact that I haven't really been here even though you guys are still seeing videos every day. You know what I mean? It's just, it's a weird feeling for me, okay? Because it's been a very, 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 very long time since I stocked up that amount of videos. And I actually do have a couple other videos that are stocked up as well, a couple of review videos and, uh, you know, so on and so forth. And just generally speaking, I'm really happy with where things are going with the channel right now, but that'll all end up being explained in due time with the rebranding rebranding i got a new logo you've seen it in my discord but otherwise i appreciate you guys coming out smash like stuff for more buy the merch you want to support the channel and have a wonderful day